हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू शॉर्ट हैंड सुपर फास्ट राइटर्स दोस्तों आप चैनल को सब्सक्राइब करें और बेल आइकन को दबाएं डेली शॉर्ट हैंड डिक्टेशन्स के लिए आज की डिक्टेशन वॉल्यूम नंबर एट से ट्रांसक्रिप्शन नंबर वन सिक्सटी सेवन एस एस स्टेनोग्राफर ग्रेड सी के लिए सो बी रेडी टेन सेकेंड्स फाइव सेकेंड्स स्टार्ट द नेक्स्ट आइटम ऑफ एक्सपेंडिचर विच हैज अट्रैक्टेड माई नोटिस इज द एक्सपेंडिचर ऑन पेंशन एज मच एज हंड्रेड करोर्स ऑफ रुपीज हैव बीन अलॉटेड फॉर पेमेंट ऑफ पेंशंस एंड अदर रिलीफ मे आई वंस मोर पॉइंट आउट टू द फाइनेंस मिनिस्ट्री द हार्डशिप विच पीपल हु हैव कम्यूटेड देयर पेंशन आर सफरिंग फ्रॉम सम ऑफ द पीपल हु हैव कम्यूटेड देयर पेंशन हैव हैड द मिस फॉर्चून टू लीव अप टू सेवेंटी टू एटी ईयर्स एंड हैव पेड देयर कम्यूटेड पोर्शन ट्वाइस एंड स्टिल दिस गवर्नमेंट एग्जैक्ट्स दीज पेमेंट्स फ्रॉम दीज कम्यूटेड पेंशनर्स आई थिंक द टाइम हैज कम वेन द फाइनेंस मिनिस्ट्री शुड लुक सिंपथेटिकली एट द लॉट ऑफ द कम्यूटेड पेंशनर्स एंड रेस्टोर द ओरिजिनल पेंशन एट लीस्ट फाइव टू सिक्स ईयर्स आफ्टर दे हैव पेड द फुल कम्यूटेड अमाउंट then i come to that white elephant in our government namely the planning commission which costs us rupees 1000 crores on a former occasion when i made the ma- remark that our planning commission is the costliest in the world the minister of state for finance said that the french planning commission was as large if not larger and it was as costly as our planning commission i challenged him to produce the figures he said he had not the figures i made some personal enquiries of the french embassy in delhi and they tell me that there is no special staff for the french planning commission that the staff that try to implement the suggestions of the french planning commission are distributed over several ordinary ministries so that no special cost is incurred on the staff of the planning commission why should we have not have a planning commission composed of representatives experts honorary experts like the planning commission of other countries experts from industry from labor from the professions from the private sector as well as the public sector who give competent and useful advice on planning to the government as at present constituted the planning commission is composed of people who are pledged to one social philosophy namely the socialist philosophy because the planning commission and the government plan not for prosperity but for socialism government plan not for prosperity but for socialism if the planning commission is to plan for prosperity 
if the government are to work for economic prosperity the planning commission should be composed of representatives experts from interests which are engaged in the promotion of economic growth very often we find in the reports of ministries the phrase that the planning commission has allotted so much money to this department or to that ministry who or what is the planning commission to allot sums of money it is the government departments that should allot it is the ministry the cabinet that should allot sums of money to this or that department that shows that the planning commission has become another department of government if it has become another department of government then why should it not be brought into the general system of government in the administration made a regular department of government so that it may made responsible to this house now it is a body with power but without responsibility it is time therefore that the government made up its mind to make an honest woman out of the planning commission then another ministry which attracts criticism is the ministry of housing which is also charged with the solution of the housing problem in this country in order to solve the immense housing problem of this country indicated by the calculations of the planning commission itself in order to place the housing position of india on a satisfactory footing as many as 50 million rural houses have to be reconstructed how can rupees 46 crores go towards the reconstructions of even a small proportion of this large number i made a suggestion to the consultative committee of the ministry of housing that the government should consider the question of drafting and introducing into parliament a housing law imposing housing obligations upon all employers governmental or private from the center down to the villages i was told of certain practical difficulties which stood in the way one difficulty pointed out by the ministry was that investment on industrial development would be considerably reduced if so much money was spent on housing but has the government considered that housing itself is an investment an economic investment satisfactory housing would promote the health and strength of the workers and the competitive capacity of the workers would be increased if decent housing conditions were provided another objection raised to the drafting and introduction of a housing law by the ministry was that it should increase the cost of production and therefore in a competitive market in a competitive world market we would not be able to sell our steel goods this was exactly the excuse raised during the british days that if the wages of the workers were increased we could not compete in the world market 
therefore the wages of the workers had to suffer all along sir the three wings of defense the army the navy and the air force require to be well equipped and modernized ours is a country with a great population i know our difficulties also in the present world situation it will not be possible for us to remain second rate in regard to possession of modern armaments defense is a very complicated problem nowadays in this world we have not got that technical know how we have not got those technicians who can manufacture modern weapons in our country even then the defense ministry is efficient it has tried to manufacture as far as possible new machinery and modern weapons then the problem of development is equally or if i may say so more important it all depends upon how we progress to shape the future of our country requires huge funds of money we are a poor country and i am told that taxation in our country is the highest compared to other countries of the world the question therefore arises as to how we shall meet the situation new wealth has to be created new sources of wealth have to be explored and in these matters we cannot depend upon friendly countries for coming to our aid in times of necessity